Hello guys and welcome to a new video. I know I'm not the only one who's addicted to Alcatraz. I think it's hands down the best addition to the game. So in today's video, I want to talk about three adjustments that can make it even more fun. And after that, for the gameplay people, I added an aggressive Alcatraz gameplay at the time shown on the screen. I hope you guys enjoy and let's get started. We'll start with the duration of Alcatraz. As we all know, Alcatraz these days remains available for three days only during the weekends. And the issue with that, many players get things to do during the weekends. Things they couldn't finish because of their work, for example. And as a result, they end up missing Alcatraz. As for the solution, I want to say make Alcatraz permanent, but this is debatable. It can be good and bad. Good to increase the overall active players in the game. Because I know for a fact that a lot of players play card only when Alcatraz is out and they leave as soon as it ends but at the same time it can be bad because it might affect the number of players on other maps isolated will be isolated for real so the number of bots might increase and even if there are many players there might be a huge skill gap between them since the matchmaking will struggle to find players at the same rank and level and second of all making it permanent might end up making players lose interest in it and there won't be anything special about it anymore the fact that Alcatraz is temporary makes players wait for it and always excited to play it as soon as it comes out so we have to find a midway solution here and in my opinion adding just one extra day can make the difference and solve this issue so we get four days of alcatraz instead of three next we have the airdrop timings I think it's really bad because the average Alcatraz game takes around 10 minutes and there are a total of 6 airdrops available but all of them drop in the second half of the game after the 5th minute. It's like Oprah Winfrey is the airdrop pilot and she's handing out free airdrops for everyone. So the first 4 minutes don't have any airdrops at all and the first airdrop lands in the 5th minute. Then the 7th minute has 2 airdrops and the 9th minute has 3 airdrops. So I think the solution here is to have at least 2 airdrops dropping in the first five minutes first of all to make the game more fun but most importantly many players including me use alcatraz as a training ground to test different loadouts and improve overall skill because it has an intense non-stop action and a lot of enemies to test against but with this messed up airdrop timing we don't really get enough time to do that After that, we have the revive landing. So when you die and you come back in the revive flight, sometimes they throw you at the edge of the map, which significantly limits your landing options because if you guys remember a long time ago, they nerfed the gliding height and distance, which resulted in this issue in Alcatraz, which is not being able to reach far areas. And there are two issues with that. First of all, when you come back from the revive flight, you're already in a disadvantage having only one gun with one mag. And on top of that, you can't pick a good landing spot. And sometimes the possible landing locations are either already looted or there is a full squad waiting for you and as a result you get sent back to the revive flight again the second issue with this issue is the revenge because revenge is a very fun aspect of alcatraz whether you're the one trying to get your revenge or when the enemies try to get their revenge from you so when you get your revenge other than feeling good about yourself you also get your loot back the loot that you struggle to collect and it's even more satisfying when the enemies try to get their revenge from you and end up getting clapped over and over again and you hear these beautiful satisfying rage songs coming from their mics you bloody mother bloody fuck bitch. fucking bloody bastard so what they need to do to fix it is to increase the gliding distance for Alcatraz so that we can reach further areas and therefore expanding our landing options and allowing us to have more fair fights and get our revenge and loot back. Those were all the changes that I can think of. Let me know if you guys agree or disagree and let me know if you have any more changes that can make Alcatraz even more fun. And now let's move on to the gameplay. This game had some good action in it to a point where I ran out of ammo and to a point where I couldn't even get a loadout gun. I hope you guys enjoyed. Yo. 
I was confused there for a second, but I checked my ping and it was higher than Snoop Dogg and Wiz Khalifa combined. But one of the perks of having a pink spike, you get a free rewind with it. Except that this one mostly rewinds you back to the lobby. you guys enjoyed the video and if you did a like would be highly appreciated thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace